Sports is that common bond which can bring a father closer to his child, whether it's throwing the football around on the field or going to a basketball game. With this being Father's Day, we spotlight two dads, two best friends that turned a day of golf 20 years ago into something that has taken both of them by surprise. A club strike. Oh, wow. There it is. The sight of the ball going into the cup. And a little trash talking amongst friends. Still the reigning champ, dad. Just a few reasons oh. Nick Hines loves the game of golf. We can't play like the pros, so we're kind of Sunday, Saturday and Sunday warriors. And so because of that complexity, we all have an appreciation for each other and playing the game. Nick and his best friend, Anton Price, have been playing golf together for years. But one specific day changed how he viewed it. And in our community, there were a number of people who had alliances um, that we started to introduce others to the game. On a Father's Day 20 years ago, Nick, Anton, and six of their friends played a round of golf at Rivers Bend, which has now turned into an annual event that can't be missed. We knew that we could get together 12 or 16 golfers at any time, going back to the early 2000s to take a golf trip, et cetera. But we had no idea we would have 60, 70, as many as 80 people come out on Father's Day morning. They don't just come from the Richmond area. They travel from up and down the East Coast, bringing their children and significant others to make it a family gathering at Dogwood Trace. They see it as an opportunity to have their children with them on this particular day to make sure that the experiences are the most important thing and the memories are something you can't take away. You know, my family roots are in Richmond, Virginia. I grew up in North Jersey and in Brooklyn and now in Florida. So to come back home and be with my, my relatives on this weekend with our sons and to be able to come to the golf course and enjoy a beautiful day and a fellowship with my, my fellow you know, brothers and their kids is a, a beautiful thing. Over the years, what Nick and Anton have built with the Father's Day Classic has benefited another of their College Park best friends, Petersburg Athletic Director Bill Lawson III. To have them uh, support my beliefs. They know how I feel about Petersburg and Petersburg Athletics. So this is their way of supporting me um, by helping to help some of our programs get some things that they might need. They're literally across the street from this golf course, so we really want to give back as much as possible. Proceeds raised from the Golf Classic have gone directly to the Petersburg Athletic Program, an easy decision, according to Nick. We realize that the athletics, the students, the community were all benefiting, and things have been on the rise at Petersburg High School and in the Tri-Cities area, and we want to be part of that. They know how I feel about Petersburg Athletics and the kids in Petersburg, um, so this their way of supporting me, but also supporting the kids. Uh, they, uh, they always step up. Something the College Park best friends will continue to do as long as there's a golf course close by. As many of us are close in the same age range, this is fitting uh, for our, I'll say, our physical abilities and athletic abilities. This is a competitive nature for them continued, you know, just in the game of golf. Uh, we have one of my former, my father's former players out here. We have two of them, Asher Horace Hines and Gary Jones. My man Nick Hines over here, this will be doing on Father's Day. It's a beautiful occasion. My first Father's Day ever playing golf. But man, our play got me involved in this thing. I'm loving it. Now I'm playing with stars like these guys right here. Mr. Lawson here is his father, tutored me when I was a child in uh, high school, a senior. I cut up a little bit, but he kept me straight. Now I'm playing with shown up, shown up gentlemen and a gentleman's sport. This year, the Father's Day Golf Classic raised more than $2,000, and since 2017, it has generated over $10,000 to Petersburg Athletics and their foundation, and they will hold the event next year also on Father's Day.